Oh, sorry. Uh, can, you take a, can you see on my belt? Congrats on your win. You, call, you called out Ryan and Devin out there, man. Uh, what do you think is possibly next? What do you think is more uh, more positive? I, I think both of them are, are fights that could be made. And me and Ryan Garcia were with the same promotion, so I, I think that that fight is really, really likely to happen. I know Ryan Garcia will be wanting the opportunity because it's such a big fight here in LA. So I think we can make that happen. But also the Devin Haney fight too. So whatever fight, whatever whatever person agrees to fight me next, man, I'm with it. Or you get a title shot though. What was that? You get a title shot. Yeah, I get, I get, right? I get a title shot with Devin Haney. I got, I'm the mandatory now. So if um, if we get the Devin Haney first, then we can make it happen. But if Ryan wants to, if Devin wants to, you know, play games and wait and fight somebody else first before the mandatory, then I'll fight Ryan. Just, that's 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 uh, right now, man, I felt very, very good and comfortable at 135. The punches weren't too bad. Um, I messed up my hand in the seventh round with the left, left hand on top, but I was still able to control the pace and dictate the pace, and I, I felt good. I feel like I could compete at, I, I could compete at both at 130, 135, just depending if the opportunity is right. I, I wouldn't want the big fights, man, at 130. If I'm going to go back down to 130, I wouldn't want Jamal Aaron or Oscar Valdez. Those are the fights I would want at 130. Joseph, what's your life been like the last few years? Everything you've been through. Man, fucking hectic, that's for sure, man. It's been, it's been, it's been one hell of a ride. But uh, I just remained strong and I remained faithful. I kept faith. Uh, my son had a major, major part in me keeping uh, my mental straight, man, and making sure that I was doing the right choices in life and not making bad decisions during this this horrible time in my life. Man. A lot of people they didn't they didn't know what was going on, man. But I was dealing with arbitration with managers that have been robbing me my whole life. Uh, and I, I, I honestly thought that these guys were for my best interest and come to find out they weren't. And uh, now now that uh, we're able to get them out of the way, and I think uh, MTK, my advisory people for taking care of that for me, my lawyer, Jim Greeley, you guys are amazing. You guys did a hell of a job. I, 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 my life is, is dedicated to you guys, man, for, for really, really taking care of me. Because a lot of fighters, man, they're getting fucked over and we bust our ass day in and day out, sacrifice our lives to put on a great show for the fight fans and, and, to, and to, to feed our families and for, for managers and for guys to just come in here and try to rob you and try to take your money. It's fucking bullshit, man. It's wrong. Jojo! Jo, jo. Turn the page. Is this a new chapter in your life? This is now a new chapter, man. My main focus now is my boxing career and my son's eating. And I know in order for me to be the best father possible, I got to be the best boxer as I possibly can to provide for my son and to get him the best future possible when he's uh, when he's older later on and that way he won't be struggling and he can do whatever he wants in life. Like once he graduates college, he could he could do whatever whatever career I'm gonna be right there for him. So I just wanna make sure that I'm the best fighter that I possibly can for these next few years that I have in my in my boxing career. Retire and make sure my my son is well off. Jojo, you said you messed up your hand. It was a it was a tough night. It was a really tough fight, man. And Alvier Fortuna is a tough motherfucker. He's strong. He kept applying pressure. He tried to throw those spurs to try to hurt me, but his power, I, I told you guys I was gonna be able to take his power. It wasn't gonna be effective like how he, he hurts all the other guys. I'm able to take shots. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a big 135 pounder and a big 130 pounder. And um, I just had to battle it through, man. I'm a fighter. I, I, I've been I've been through wars already with injured hands, with cuts, and I was able to battle through and I did it once again. This is did it feel like it was a title fight given everything that you just said about how tough this fight was? Yeah, so it, it did feel like a, a title fight. I felt like I was winning the fight decisively. I wanted to still apply pressure, which I was, and put on a great performance for the fight fans. I was trying to tee off with my left hand, but I, I, I knew that it was really, really hurt, and I didn't want to get it really, really injured because I know I got another big fight coming up ahead, so I want to make sure I save it for that motherfucker. When so can you get back in the ring? Uh, hopefully November. November, man. I want to I wanna fight one more time for sure at the, at the end of this year and get one more fight for the fight fans. Like I said, I, I didn't look good in my, 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 my fight in, in February, but I, I, I hope I made it up for you guys. You're fighting the tough challenger. I beat this guy, and now I want to fight one more time in 2021. You mentioned... I think so, I, I think so, man. Uh, I know that Ryan Garcia, he's one hell of a fighter, and I know that he's all he's all about uh, bringing the fight fans and the fights to LA. And I feel like this fight is such a big fight in LA, where it's going to happen sooner or later. How would that fight play out? Man, I, I don't know.